All right, what do we got? Man, you talked about how invaluable these, these this were. You know, what are you, you know, how much are you getting out of this? How much did it help? No, I mean, a ton. I mean, we're able to evaluate um, what we're doing. We're able to evaluate the players. More importantly, um, the players are getting a chance to spend time around each other, getting to spend a time in our scheme. And, you know, um, as coaches, this is practice for us. Like all the two-minute situations, reacting to them, like, will we clock it here? Will we do this here? We go back. We have a real serious debrief on how it went. So, I, you know, again, I don't know how we did it without it last year, to be quite honest. Do you keep having Robbie back out there? Yeah, it's great to have Robbie here. You know, I mean, Robbie's a guy that brings energy to the practice field. You can, he's in great shape. You can tell he's been working hard. So, but uh, glad he's here. He was not in a lot of teamwork, just sort of easing him back in slowly. Uh, you know, I think um, I, I think we had like a goal, like three to four reps every team drill, and D I think DJ's rep was goal was like two to three reps. We have a couple tryout guys, one tryout guy, I think. So, you know, I'm not going to over rep anybody. Uh, that you know, we kind of know those guys are established stars. This is a great opportunity this week. I've kind of taken the approach this week, like, you know, hey, let's let's really give some of those other guys a chance to show what they can do, and 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 you know, as we make our evaluations heading into training camp. Anyone stand out? Well, I thought the defense stood out, you know, but again, you know, it's kind of hard. The offense, can't, the offense line can't really block, and we'd pip them balls because they can't pull them down and all those things. So we're trying to, you know, obviously not have a lot of contact. So, um, but I think anytime we pick balls off, it's great. Um, but I couldn't single, single any one person out, to be honest with you. I spent my whole time, as you know, kind of running around. You know. How would you evaluate Sam today if you can? I uh, thought he did good things. I thought, you know, um, I had to go back and always watch the protection issues because there were some times where guys came free. So you have to go back and say, was that him? Was it the line? But was it a receipt? Well, sometimes it's a tailback not coming back and picking up his protection. So, but I thought Sam did a nice job. Completed balls in the two minute. Um, you know, I don't want him to have great days, to be honest with you, right now, because it means we're not making things hard enough for him. I want him to have, you know, good days and just steady progress. And uh, to me, good days will lead to great days someday. So the tip balls is just a, a symptom of just the limitations you have right now with the line play? Yeah, I went into the whole line. I went in, I was complaining to the offense about how many tip balls they have. And even Johnny said to me, he's like, Coach, you know, I, when I feel that in the game, I pull the guy down. I can't pull him down right now or else he'll you know, snap. So uh, so Johnny helped me, you know. So um, so anyway, yeah, I mean, you know, there's I think two balls in the end zone were, were, were drops by the receivers, you know. Um, so obviously never happened about there's no there's no issue with that but the tip balls by the D line that's that's a good set sign for the defense and um, hopefully offensively when we have pads on it's a little harder for them. Uh, coach, uh, not a lot of contact on the offensive line. Have you seen anything stand out from Taylor Moten? How's he standing out? How's he looking? Oh, Taylor's. I mean, Taylor's a consummate pro. Everything we want in a player, and um, you know, I think he's working on varying the amount of sets that he has and you know, adding tools to his toolbox. So, not a ton of reps for him today, uh, but a lot of good individual work for him today and some team reps. So I, I see him, you know, I see him just getting better and better and better. Yeah, and then how important is he to the future of the team? You know, the uh, we're worried about right now, man. <laughs> like, I mean, we, he's a valuable part of who we are right now, and and I look forward to him having a great year. What have you seen from J.C. Horn so far, and how is he developing? Yeah, J.C., first day back today, uh, looked like, you know, he looked like uh, he, you know, had needed to kind of get his win back a little bit. So, you know, I think tomorrow will be good to see what he does. In terms of Dennis Staley last year, obviously, Dennis is Dennis is really talented. Uh, he can play guard. He can play tackle. Um, you know, just just got to keep him healthy. You know, that was his issue kind of heading into this, and he's been healthy all camp, having a good camp. So, came back, had a really good off season, came back and real really strong and in good shape. So, I think one of the things we've had to do is try to find like, hey, what is he? What position is he best? Because he could do so much, but you don't want to leave him robbed of having the chance to settle in at one position. So, hopefully. Hopefully, as we move forward, we're still trying to identify, what, to be honest, what that is, what our best five is. Um, but hopefully, we can get them, you know, set moving forward. And Matt, you got some guys come back from injury today, too, at least. Um, are all the guys in red? Is your understanding be good for Spartan? Yep, yep. I'm just trying, I'm trying to think if there's anybody that, I, um, yeah, like uh, maybe, maybe not Troy early on. He's, he might be a little bit longer, but I think everyone else will be ready for the first day of training. Are you able to say what Troy has? No. Nope. I'm trying not to say those things, so I, I hope you understand. That's that. fine. Hey, you, um, you know, brought in a kicker. Yeah. Uh, whether it's him or someone else, do you think you'll have a second kicker at Walton? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think you know what we try to do is just bring guys in, so we have a great list of hey, who's out there, you know, that we can evaluate. Um, you know, we, we feel we feel very confident in Joey. I think he's come he's come really far. He's done a lot of work. I mean, he's done a lot of work just to get himself. Um, to where he's in, you know, the same guy every kick, and he's in a great rhythm. He's mastering his process. 
Um, so I feel really good about where he's at. That being said, you know, if, if, if we had someone that we thought would be a legitimate uh, competition, we would definitely consider that. So I think we're just trying to get a feel for who's out there and, and then how they compare, you know, when you see them live. When you was using a sports psychologist, is that something you guys suggested or is that is it on the Well, we have Dr. Uh, Joanne Perry. Uh, she's, she's fantastic and she's here. She's a resource to all the players. If you ask me, I think every player and coach should use uh, sports psychologists. We get in the worlds of like mindfulness and and uh, meditation and visual Im imagery and you know all those things and self talk. Like the best, best, best players in the world at every sport use them. So uh, for all of us, I think it's great. I mean, I, I I use my like little Headspace app, you know, every day. You know, just trying to keep myself a calmer person. So. Um, I, I would recommend it to anyone. I think Joey it just it just depends on are you going to make it part of your everyday routine. I think uh, Joey has has probably made a commitment to that. When you're bringing a guy like Linton Dix, when he's only here for a couple of days, how hard is it to evaluate? And what are you evaluating when you have a guy like that it's his first short amount of time? Just uh, skill set, you know, where they are and, um, you know, how they compare to the rest of the guys, you know, just, um, you know, just, just, just how they move, where they are, you know, in terms of that physical movement and then comparing them to everybody else. You mentioned you were trying to figure out the best five for the Oscar one. What is that process like at this point and, like, going into training camp? Like, how open is that five? Yeah, I think it's going to be into training camp. You know, I think um, I think it's going to take some time in training camp. You know, so I don't I don't think we know right now. I think we have, you know, we're trying to build a, uh, seven guys we feel like can play, so we have some depth. And um, uh, you know, Cam's out right now. He should be ready for camp. Uh, so I think we're waiting until then. Matt Taylor's, I guess, who you consider your best offensive lineman. Is there any thought to moving him to left tackle, or is he just better off right now? You know. I, I think that's a that's a, you know it's just really hard because he's just such a dominant right tackle, a really good player there to say hey let's move him. Um, I think you know he's been messing around with it here and there, and I think if he ever feels like really comfortable to do it, um, you would consider doing it. Like, like I said last week, the difference between left tackle and right tackle to me in the NFL is not what it once was. I mean you know a lot of great rushers are rushing from the right side, so um, you know he's he's valuable where he's at, and, and uh, you know we'll just have to kind of wait and see. You know, understanding this is probably more of a Scott question, but do you get a sense that you guys will be able to get something done with Taylor prior to the season? Yeah, Scott handles all that. Him and Samir, um, you know, I, I, I try to be very uh, intentional about not getting involved in any of that stuff because the play, you don't want the players to see me as the coach and let Scott and those guys handle the money and all that. Curious for you what it's like now that you've had some practices with Hassan back out here coaching him again, what's that experience like? Oh, well, um, I mean, he's so mature and serious about football. You know, it's great to see that. Um, you know, I, I knew a lot of these guys when they were 21, you know, 22, and now I see them, you know, they're 26, 27, 28. It's, it's, it's good to see. And I just think he's going to bring a lot to our defense. You know, his ability to rush and, and play linebacker as well is, 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 you know, kind of what we're looking for. Robbie, you know, he had a, his best year last year. Where do you hope he can step up even more this year? Yeah, I think just Robbie, just, you know, all of us, you know, as we, you know, really, truly, you know, kind of master who we are and what we're becoming. I, I want to see him be someone that's really disciplined in route running. And, you know, we all know he's an explosive playmaker. You know, um, he's a tough guy. He catches the ball across the middle. I'm hoping we can add some vertical element, you know, to his game because he's, you know, him and Sam had that when they were in New York. And then uh, just becoming really disciplined about the details, you know, of, of winning, playing, and play out, which um, is what we're trying to do at every position right now. You know, I, 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 tomorrow we'll do a lot of situational stuff, and then Thursday we're just going to run, you know, let the guys go. So um, really tomorrow is kind of like a culmination of all these different situational things that we've done, all, all, all OTAs, bringing them all together and seeing where we, you know, seeing how we react to the situations, coaches and players. And um, as much as anything, you know, I just think we've, we've had such a great turnout all along that this isn't like a true, like, hey, up the ante, you know, mini camp. It's, it's pretty much what we've been doing. So. Um, I'm, I'm happy that the guys put the time in on that. How big of a battle is it right now at slot, especially just because of the fact that you've been mixing in a lot of different guys in, in those spots, especially, you know, even when you get Christian into the mix as well? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think the receiver position, you know, we know, we obviously know we have DJ and Robbie who are two great players, and then we have a lot of guys we have confidence in, but who's going to be that third receiver? Who's going to be that? And then really the four and five. Um, you know, there's a lot of great competition, and, um, you know, having uh, having guys move around to me, that's one of the keys to Joe's offense, you know, and our offense here is having guys who can move in and out, inside, outside, have a lot of versatility. So, um, you know, 
these days are good now that we you know we now we can move some of the outside guys play a little more inside now that Robbie's here so getting Terrace going you know I think it's, it's big as well once you know he's doing a little bit more in Indy so just kind of just trying to just trying to put a lot of guys out there and, and see who really kind of you know makes the leap heading into training camp thanks guys yeah, see you. yes it's Thursday uh, I, I don't have this time in front of me Oh yeah, Thursday we're just we're just running the we're running what will be the conditioning test in the fall. We're just running that so the guys everybody knows what it is. And everyone can feel good about themselves heading into summer. Yeah. That partly too is just because of what you said about already having gotten a lot of work. You know, honestly, I, I try to I try to pay attention to what good coach like uh, so a couple guys were uh, said you know they, their experience around some some great coaches and they had done it this way and I thought it was a great idea, and I feel like we don't have to rush. We've gotten so much work in so. To me, it was what we were going to do last year. It was our, kind of our plan going in. Hey, two days of practice and then one day of just, you know, running. Hey, here's a conditioning test. Come back, be in shape, um, be ready for the, the, the heat down in, 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 in Spartanburg. So it, it's kind of it's calculated because we planned on doing it last year, um, taken from some other guys. But um, at the same time, I feel very confident doing it. Like, I don't need to rush and try to get another practice in. So.